snack Me and you gonna have a little chat about books Hi guys! So I am here today to do a book review and the book that I'm going to be reviewing is Bonjour Tristesse. This is by Francois Sagan and it is a Penguin modern classic. It's translated from French and this edition actually has two stories. It's got Bonjour Tristesse and A Certain Smile, but I've only read Bonjour Tristesse, so I don't know anything about the second one in here. So I'm just going to be talking about Bonjour Tristesse itself today. So I actually didn't buy this book. I was sent this very kindly from Jen. I will put a link to her channel down below for you guys to check her out, because she's lovely and amazing and a wonderful human being. And she very kindly sent this to me because she knew that there was a buddy read coming up for it and I wanted to give it a go because I haven't really read many classics for ages and I thought a short modern classic it might be a nice way to ease myself back into them and hopefully end up enjoying it. How wrong I was. <laughs> so there were quite a few people in the buddy read and we all started this on the same day and I think most of us finished it in the same day because it is only about 100 pages. Yeah exactly 100 pages so it's a really really short read and it didn't take me very long maybe a few hours but I didn't like this book. I felt like it just was really not for me and here is why. Basically in this book we're following a young girl. Her name is Cecile and we're following her life story as she basically when she was younger she was away at boarding school and now she has come back and she's been living with her father who's a single father for about two years and we sort of follow her as she goes through this process of living with him and dealing with the situation that he puts her in and dealing with the effects of all of these different types of women coming into their lives because her father is not ex not exactly a player but he definitely isn't one to settle down and he does seem to have a lot of different girlfriends and he's always been very open with her about their relationships and the fact that they are dating and you know it's going to be in front of her and stuff like that and she's always been fine with that the fact that he's really open and honest with her about it all so she kind of knows how how fickle his personality is and she kind of accepts that and she's just happy about the fact that they're really honest with each other and they have a decent relationship. And then one day a lady called Anne comes into their lives and she's already a past family friend. She was her mother's friend or something like that. But she comes into their lives in a bigger way when they actually move away one summer and she starts dating Cecile's father and that's when things start to go downhill and we kind of follow the story from that point on. This is all explained in the first few chapters. So it's not really a spoiler, but yeah, we follow Anne as she comes into the family and we follow Cecile's point of view about how Anne has integrated herself and the ideas that Anne is bringing with her and the way that she is kind of disrupting the lifestyle that Cecile and her father have set up for themselves. I felt like Cecile, she's supposed to be I think 17, 18, something like that, and I felt like for a 17 or 18 year old she honestly was one of the dumbest I've ever come across, and that may sound rude or harsh, and this was written by the author when she was like 19, so maybe it's a kind of reflection of the author, I don't know, but basically I felt like the main character in this book was so rude and so nasty and so inconsiderate. Some of the things she did were just really really horrible things. They were nasty, they were cruel and they were just inconsiderate. She dragged a lot of people into her plans and schemes that I didn't feel were necessary. I felt like she was making up this reason to be horrible to her new family members and I just didn't enjoy her as a character. I felt like she really suffered from lack of development and suffered from just all this bitter rage inside of her that made her a really dislikable person. Like I just could not get on with her in the slightest. And then we have her father. Her father is just as annoying because he's really fickle and he sort of bounces from one woman to the next woman and he's very wishy-washy and he doesn't ever do anything or pin anything down or make any definite ideas about his future or Cecile's future. He never really implements an actual sort of system for her to grow up to and to live with him or anything like that. And then Anne I really didn't like because Anne was just really strict and she was trying to kind of she came into the family trying to give them all of these new ideas and sort of help them but she tried to force it on them and she wasn't considerate of them or their feelings and then we had some other characters as well who got mixed up in it all and it was just all a big flipping disaster let's let's just say that it was a big flipping disaster and this book really 
I just did not enjoy it. It was decently written, like the writing style was fine, it was easy to get through. But other than that, I just thought it was pants. Honestly, I did not like a single bit of it and it wasn't even thought provoking or anything for me. Like I know some of the other people, well actually most of the other people in the group really enjoyed it and I just did not. I felt like it was just awful. It was just so annoying. Like all the characters were just rubbish. I just could not get on with any of them. I could not get on with the plot. I thought it was just predictable. If you've ever read We Were Liars by E.E. E. Lockhart, I felt like maybe that was based on this. I don't know, because this came out before that. Because I'd already read We Were Liars, this just felt like a complete rip-off of that. And so I'm guessing We Were Liars is a rip-off of this, actually. But it just felt really similar. It felt really cliche. It felt really like everything was very predictable. I completely guessed the ending, which was not a surprise at all for me and just everything was really boring <laughs> so I'm afraid that this is probably one of my first one star reviews in a long time because I don't usually give out one star reviews but this one literally just gets one star because it was just rubbish in my opinion so unfortunately much as I'm sure that this author was a lovely person and that she was trying to write something that kind of reflected her lifestyle to me it was completely different to my lifestyle and it just bored me and I felt like everyone was idiots and it yeah it was just really really rubbish so sorry if you have a completely different opinion to me but if you do have a completely different opinion to me please let me know why because maybe there's something that I completely missed I am definitely open to the idea that I completely missed the point of this story it's very possible that I did I did not enjoy it I would love to hear your thoughts if you've ever read it if you're planning to read it let me know what you thought. Do you agree with me or do you agree with the majority who seem to really enjoy this? So let me know down below. I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all very soon in another video. Bye!